Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to set up Apache Spark on Ubuntu operating system. So, let's start the video. For Spark to work, it needs Java to be installed. So, let's check if Java is installed in our system. So, to check if Java is already installed, go to terminal and type Java hyphen version. I have Java 23, but Spark supports Java 8, 11, and 17. So let's install OpenJDK Java 11. So I will type sudo apt install openjdk hyphen 11 hyphen jdk hyphen y. Okay, so Java 11 is installed. Let me update the default Java. So, sudo alternatives hyphen config and Java. And I will choose one which is JDK 11. And if I run Java version, I should see an output with Java version as 11. Once you have installed Java in your Ubuntu operating system. It's time to open the browser and search for spark.apache.org. Once you are on this page, click on Downloads. Then choose a Spark release. I will select 3.5.5, which is released on 27th of Feb. And the package type is pre build for Apache Hadoop 3.3 and then click on Spark Download. It will take you to another page. Copy this URL and then go to Terminal. Let me create a folder for Spark setup. So, mkdir-p slash opt. Let's go to the directory which I have created. So, cd slash opt. Now, let's download Spark in this location. So, I will write sudo wget and the URL. wget will basically download the file from the URL provided. So, my download is completed. LL command to list the files. And this is the package which we have downloaded. So I will untar this package using tar hyphen xvf and the package name. Okay, the Spark package is downloaded using root user. So let's add sudo in our tar hyphen xvf command. So, I am able to untar the file. Now, I will rename this Spark folder. So, I will write mv spark 3.5.5 bin hadoop 3 to spark 3.5.5. Now, let's set up Spark home. So, I will go to my home folder and I will type code.bashrc. This will open the bash rc file in the vs code editor. Scroll at the end of the file and type spark underscore home equals slash opt slash spark 3.5.5 and then export path equals dollar path dollar spark underscore home slash bin and save the file and go back to the terminal. Let's source the bash rc file. So source dot bash rc. So our setup is completed. Let's verify it. So I will type spark 
hyphen shell and it should open a spark shell for you. Let's try to read a CSV file in spark. So I will read this CSV file which has ID, name and age. So in the terminal, I will type val df equals spark dot read dot csv and the path of the file. And then df dot show to show the content of the file. So I am able to read a CSV file using Spark. So this is how you can install Apache Spark on Ubuntu operating system. With this, I will wrap up today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.